Now let's see how to multiply and divide rational numbers. Let's take an example of multiplication of two rational numbers. We are given, let's say, multiply 4 by 5 and 7 upon 2. So here we need not take any LCM as in addition or subtraction. It's a simple case of multiplication. But what we can do to simplify things is to see whether any numerator term can be cancelled with any denominator term. So we find that there is a 4 n and 2 here and therefore I can cancel to 1s are to 2s are and all you have to do is straight multiplication. The numerator is multiplied by the numerator. So we get 2 into 7 that's 14 divided by 5 into 1 that's 5. So these are two numbers. We could also get a number where we have 5 by 4 into 7 upon 2 into 3 by 8 and so on where there are 3 or more than 3. So the process remains identical to this. That means we will see whether there are anything, any numbers which are common and which can be cancelled. In this case, we find there is nothing which can be cancelled. There are no common factors. 5, 7 and 3 all are prime numbers. So it can't be cancelled here except y itself. And there is no 5, 7, 3 in the denominator. So what are we going to do? We are just going to multiply the numerator. So here we have 5 into 7, that's 35 into 3. And denominator we have 4 into 8. 2 is 8 and 8 multiplied by 8. So we are multiplying the first two and then the result has to be multiplied by the third number. Now 35 is multiplied by 3. Now when we multiply 35 by 3, we are going to get 105 and 8 into 8 is 64. So we get 105 by 64. Similarly, we can check out for division. Now in division, we cannot simply divide directly. What we have to do is let's say 4 divided by 3 by 2, the division sign has to be converted into multiplication sign. And how do we do that? We will take the reciprocal of the second number. The first number remains as it is and we are going to take the reciprocal of this. So this becomes 2 upon 3. So the answer is going to be 8 upon 15. We could have another example, let's say 6 by 7 divided by 1 upon 2. Again, there's a division sign. So this is 6 by 7 into, we'll take the reciprocal of the second rational number, becomes 2 by 1. So the answer is going to be 12 upon 7.